Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss. The difference between the CSS properties, box shadow and filter, drop shadow. We'll explore their differences, use cases, and when to choose one over the other. So, let's get started. All right, let's start with box shadow. It allows you to add a shadow effect to an element on your web page. You can control the size, blur, color, and position of the shadow. It's fantastic for creating depth and dimension in your design. Let's have a look on box shadow example. Suppose you have a button on your web page and you want to give it a subtle shadow. You can achieve this with box shadow by specifying values for the horizontal and vertical offsets, blur, and shadow color. If you want to know about box shadow in detail, you can find box shadow video tutorial link in the description. Now, let's talk about filter, drop shadow. This property is part of the CSS filter module and is designed to create shadow effects. Box shadow property is limited to the borders of elements, whereas filter drop shadow can apply a shadow over the entire element, including its contents. It offers more flexibility in creating shadows. To create a similar shadow effect using filter, drop shadow, you can do something like this. Keep one thing in mind, the drop shadow effect works properly. If you use an image with a transparent background, what are the main differences between these two shadow casting techniques? Well, box shadow only applies a shadow to the box of an element. It is more straightforward and suitable for simple shadow effects. On the other hand, filter drop shadow can cast a shadow around the entire element and its contents, making it perfect for creating more complex designs. Imagine a situation, you have a circular profile picture and you want to create a shadow that follows the circular shape. Filter drop shadow is perfect for this. Another important difference is the level of control. With box shadows, you have precise control over shadow properties such as size, opacity, and spread. You can also use multiple shadows for creative effects. In contrast, filter drop shadow provides a more natural way of creating shadows based on the shape of the element. Suppose you have a card element and you want to create a layered shadow effect with box shadow property, you can do this. Now look at another example of how layered shadows are created. It looks attractive, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe our channel, goodbye.